It's wonderful that something as, as big as the NIV could come out of uh, the idea of, of just one single man who, who was uh, just really wanting to share his faith. A lay person named Howard Long, a businessman who was a keen Christian and was anxious to tell his business associates about Christ and to, to, to lead them into this relationship he had. And was realizing more and more that the King James Version or the version that he was using did not communicate. And Howard was just really frustrated with that sort of a situation. He said, we need an English version of the Bible that communicates in modern English. And ultimately, over several years of meetings and uh, kind of planning, uh, there was born a group of scholars who decided to dedicate themselves to the thing we now call the New International Version of the Bible. With the NIV, it was a translation that started with the original text of Scripture, the Hebrew, Aramaic, Greek, and translated on the basis of those original languages. There's a continuity there, and there's a heritage there, and a tradition that is valuable. It was rather surprising because they were very conservative and yet they had this very modern view of translation. And they insisted it had to be in the language of the people. Among these 15 scholars was an attempt to uh, represent the spectrum of the evangelical community as a whole. It would not have a denominational bias, it would not have a distinct theological bias, it would not have a distinct regional bias. But that was built into the DNA of the NIV from the beginning. Bible for the broader movement. A great serendipity of the NIV and this process is it got people from differing traditions within the church talking to one another and respecting one another. <music>